Hey, Robin, I'm just wondering, did you ever consider doing TV commercials early on in your career? And would you have made a good spokesman? No, I would be, uh, you know, it's mild. Oops. <laughs> No. I, uh, oh, actually, I did one for, I think, Illinois Bell Telephone, and, uh, where there was a guy wandering through different... It was a store that sold phones, and I was doing different voices answering the phones. And, and I think I did it once, and it aired one time or twice in Illinois. And then when Mark and Mindy came out, they were oh, funny it came back. <laughs> but now I would make a bad spokesman. I, I would just want to be the ab guy. <laughs> Don't you see? You can have abs like this and nipples! I'm not pumped up on anything! <laughs> I'm totally relaxed. <laughs> Tell me it's not methadrine. <laughs> look at the ponytail. No, but wait, there's more. <laughs> the government says it doesn't work, but look. Yes, I'm crunching now as I speak and cleaning my oven. <laughs> Sorry. I've been away for a while. <laughs> I've been in Hungary. Thank you. You speak English. <laughs> How are you? you know, I was reading a thing in the paper that uh, they think that Maybe the reason Saddam Hussein kicked all those UN inspectors out of Iraq was because they were close to finding out that he's working on Flubber. What do you think of that? Mike, well, part of the whole, you know, making a new amusement park there called Muslim Mountain. You mean, well, come on, Gaddafi duck, little characters like that. It's like, what do you do? I am just part of promotional plan. No, 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 stay away. Please, please. Oh, it's so wild to be in Europe and see all that going on. so amazing. Do you think that, I mean, Here's a question right now. Right now, Gary Powers is probably, you know, going, it's an old plane, man. <laughs> You've got better. Use a satellite. I will shoot on the satellite. Hello, fella. <laughs> What's always, you know, when they show those rallies with all, with, when they all come outside and start firing guns into the air, does anyone go, <laughs> gravity. <laughs> it's going to come back down. What are you saying? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, we're back. <laughs> You know, um, yesterday, or in the, in the movie, there's a line about Albert Einstein. Mm -hmm. And uh, I read once that you have one of his autographs in your collection? Yes. Okay. I have uh, an autograph given to me by Van Dyke Parks, who's a, a great oh, songwriter. songwriter. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, when he was a child, he was a child, he, he was a child part of the music, and he was singing, I think, performing once for Einstein. And Einstein was so touched by his music, he signed, I think it was a piece of paper, just a little, it's a little square autograph that big. Mm -hmm. You know, with regards, Albert, <laughs> keep splitting. <laughs> it's all relative. <laughs> you know, and it's it's a very it's a very beautiful autograph, very sweet. Okay, you know the um, question about comedians. You know, when I was growing up, you know, Jack Benny was still around. Red Skelton was still in his heyday. Are there comedians that you grew up watching that you regret never having had the chance to work with? I would have liked to have uh, or just met Danny Kay. Uh, that would have been wonderful. Just uh, all, you know, to be honest, it would be wonderful. And Buster Keaton. And, you know, Laurel and Hardy. I, I, I was sitting watching Laurel and Hardy with my, my littlest son, and they're still hysterical. Mm. It's just a tiny bit. It works. I mean, it's something. Now you've done it. Mm. <laughs> you've done it all, Stanley. It's not working. Mm. Do you think the movie's been over publicized? Possibly they shouldn't platform it. <laughs> Maybe you've hyped it a little too much. <laughs> mm, did you think the subway platform was not worth it? <laughs> yeah, I mean, um, I wish I could have met them. Work with them, that would have been great, but met them. Yeah. And Groucho. And one quick last question. Your relationship with the guys who were flying you around in those harnesses, did you make sure that every day those guys were taken care of? Very well. It's an intimate thing when you're wearing pants wonderfully tight that turn you into a Ken doll. You get to know people who are yanking you. <laughs> when you're being yanked high, you want to thank people in a big way. Send them flowers. <laughs> it's like, who's the, who are the flowers from? Robin, thanks for pulling me so high. Good luck <laughs> using that. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. We'll find a way around. You'll find a place. God bless you. <laughs> thank you. All right, thank you, sir. We're here till Tuesday.